<laughs> so I'm in here. We're talking about this. So, uh, so Chris and I are talking about different like ways to protect yourself from heavy banding. So heavy bands have always been something like I don't know. Every time you see like one of those pull-up assist bands, you see somebody go, "Wow, I wonder if I could use this for a bicep curl," and they go to curl it in their wrist twist, or they go to do a push-up with it. And as soon as they push themselves away, like their wrists are being twisted like this and they're damaging their joints. It's not comfortable. No. It's hard on your hands. Right. hundred percent. Like but you just, X if you go heavy, you, you just can't use them. But with the X3 bar, you can right. hold onto it. Right. Because the bar makes all the difference. The, the bar is just a way to manage the power of the band. And then I get, I probably get 10 emails a day. Hey, you need to come up with a dumbbell design, you know, just a oh. single handle. But wait, where do you handle more weight? Barbells or dumbbells? Barbell, right? right, of course. Oh, twenty yeah. percent more. Yeah, yeah. There's plenty of research on this. Why? I don't know. Because you're balanced. Ah, functionally, your body knows if you're going to deal with something heavy, yeah. you're not going to deal with it with one hand. So it actually causes neural inhibition. Like, like you, if you got something heavy to pick up, would you pick up two heavy things? Does that functionally make sense? No, no, it doesn't make sense. And like. Also, that's like part of that, that myth is like the idea that when you curl, you have to get your pinky up to like yeah. really build the peak of your bicep. Total falsehood of fitness. That's really? not true. There's, there's no research that shows that that's so true in any way whatsoever. Either way is fine. Right, you could curl like this. Like it just, you know, like a hammer. Like yeah. it doesn't matter. Like you're shortening the muscle. I it's always try to, to get develop. my wrist out because I've heard that. And you're hurting your wrist when you do that. No, it kills. It kills, right, right. There's hurt. no good reason <laughs> for that kind of dumbbell work. And it's coincidentally, the strongest people in the world pretty much don't use dumbbells. They're, they get their strength from the barbell. So yeah. like that is why, and like I told you, I d developed X3 so that you kind of can't use it wrong. Like you That's, can't do a wide grip chest press because a wide grip chest press is good for a contest, not good for growing your chest. So it is like everything was done in a way so that you, you're, gonna, you're gonna get strong whether you pay attention or not. That's interesting. Yeah. He said the strongest people in the world. I, it took him a second to think, to sink in. Think about it. But you're talking about like the, the world's strongest man and the, right. and all the power lifters and right. the Olympic the guys who are really are, like I'm going to be the strongest guy out there. Yeah, they're always doing barbells. Yeah, always doing the two hands, using, two legs. <laughs> right, your whole body is going into a movement. Yeah. Right. Interesting. Right. Well, cool.